Oh snap, Deus Vault, my fellow gamers. Uh, I have myself, after a long, long wait, one, two, three crazy boxes. So uh, I don't know which one's which, but like fantasy, sci-fi, and terrain. <sighs> it took a month, a month to find out that one of the items I ordered, which was supposed to be a mind screech and was in stock at the time of ordering, but at the time of fulfillment, I suppose, was not in stock. So, <clears throat> they, uh, they had trouble filling my order when it came down to it. This one's the fantasy, right there. So they said, do you want to wait another month or do you just want us to send your stuff? Do you want to amend your order is the word. And I said, dude, just send me my stuff. I've been waiting for a month. I want these crazy boxes. And I have been like, you know, watching other people's videos, which is terrible. So now I get a chance to break open my own which is awesome. Okay, good. Oh no, they freak off, man. Damn it. Excuse my French. This is not what I wanted. A role player crazy box. That's not what I wanted, bruh. Damn it. Okay, so my sci-fi crazy box is not here. Okay, so that... <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, so what I'll probably do is I'll have my two unboxing videos. I'm going to contact uh, Dagon Mantic today. Tell him about the roleplay crazy box. Like, look, man, I did not want this thing because it comes. I've seen the crazy boxes. First of all, I'm not a role player. Like, boo hiss. Whatever, you know, other people do it. It's fine. But... You know, the only cool thing that comes in that roleplay box is the big frog monster and the tentacle beast from uh, Hellboy. And I think there's also a, a terrain set from a hospital. Like, who does, Who needs that, you know? Anyway, anyway. Let's move on. I think I want to do a fantasy crazy box. First. Let me see. Which way is she? Gots to be this way. Yeah. Okay. Sure enough, there it is. Okay. I mean, they're, they're taped well. Uh, oh, my sci-fi box. No, uh, my sci-fi box. You know what? Come on out. Mm. Okay. Awesome. You know, for some reason, you're not excited about this stuff until you actually get it. And here we go. A tape measure from Mantic. Like, uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, oh, it's got the finger release at the bottom. That's actually quite, quite usable. I like it. Now, me being in the States, uh, I do have access to metric stuff, but usually not so much. Uh, I, I don't hunt it down because I don't use a lot of metric, but here we have the metric breakdown. So we've got the inches on one side and metric on the other. That's awesome. And it also does have the Mantic name on the tape measure. What is it for every foot? No, just in the very front of it. Huh. Well, still, and the bad boy comes with a Mantic point. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see here. I have, what are these gargoyles or, or uh, some abyssal something or other? It has a bunch of flappity wings. You know, I have never seen anyone uh, open one like this. I don't think. I mean, it's a 
Pretty gnarly set of wings. Do we have some bodies in here? Of course, they have a separate bag. These are always going to be your heads. Uh, looks like some babe heads or something. Let's see. Yeah, little pokety horns. Long hair. Oh, there's some with some bigger pokety horns. And, oh, we have a lady chesticle. But clearly, they're made out of stone. These are gargoyles. I'm almost positive of that. And they're supposed to be one of the best units in the Abyssal Force. Uh, as far as chaff goes, they're supposed to be. Quite a minute. These are gargoyles. Look at the little, the little detail of the hand. I guess it's like a spirit hand or something craw crawling up this rock that this thing is mounted on. Man, how cool. I probably won, like, the Fantasy Box Lottery here with a, a whole mess of gargoyles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's the tenth one. So I have a regiment, or no, a troop of gargoyles there. I don't know how they are, if, if ten would be a regiment or if it would be a troop. I'm thinking a troop. That's cool. Uh, I didn't expect that. I expected the Joe, Joe Normal stuff that I've seen in other videos. But I've never seen anybody have gargoyles. So that makes me excited. Okay, here I have one of these guys painted up. This is your limited or direct sales only and also Mantic Points only. The dog handler, the undead dog handler. So the skeleton guy rocking the skeletal dog pretty awesome i will build that and paint it because i do i like them all right obligatory ogres since they have the new plastics release you know this rustic stuff is going to be sent out to other places so this they're a bit bigger guys they have these massive axes like the double-handed axes and shields so they're not the warriors these guys are something else not sure their specific name because I have no interest in playing ogres. But I have a feeling I'm going to have a few ogres in here. All right. Undead horses and... Yep. Okay. So this is nice. This fits me pretty well. This is a regiment. It should be 20 dudes in here, actually, of the uh, revenants mounted, cavalry revenants. So this is your best chaff in the undead army. Uh, so this is awesome. If I have Abyssal Dwarves in here, then I'll do a trade to get the undead uh, horses. So I have four regiments of regiments. Not like I need them, but I've got them. All right. This is a resin piece. And... He is a dual-wielding pistol ogre guy. And he's he's a tough dude. Yeah, dual-wielding pistols. I could put him together and just, you know, have him rocking around. Um, I still, you know, <laughs> like I said, I had a feeling I would get a bunch of ogres in here. If I don't get a grokamok, then I might feel left out because everyone and their mom's getting a grokamok. And wait a minute. There he is. Crocomock. Special character. See the other guys in that package. There was three of them, and they all had um, the axes much like that. So they've got to be a heavier hitting, more elite ogre. And this guy's definitely some kind of an elite, like a captain type uh, loadout. So. so three ogre things. Oh, now this is nice. This is nice. I get stone walls with little... Okay, so they didn't give me a box for it. Okay, cool. I was hoping for the fence, right? Because a lot of people were getting the fence. I saw one guy get a mine, uh, mine tracks, which was really lame. I feel sorry for that guy. But look at this. I have a really nice stone fence with wood and little bushes. Yeah, man. I mean, of course, it's wobbly bent, but that's cool. I have, and there's a gate. Super sweet. Um, this, you know, that, that's fine because the weak point, you'll just put, I use a hair dryer, guys. It's faster than the stinking water technique. Um, you use the hair dryer and then you run cold water. 
just so you can shock the material into place. So all it needs is a little bitty bend. And this is going to be really nice for another uh, cemetery for me because I rock the undead. We've got four corner posts. Okay, I'm very, very happy with this terrain piece. Uh, this is better than what I was hoping for. A nice stone terrain piece here. This is awesome. Thank you, Mantic. Even though you screwed up my sci-fi box. Ah! But it's okay. It's okay. I'm happy with that stone. That is awesome. Actually, let's just see how, how big it is. We're going to put our corners in there. Our jacked up bit. Yeah, man, it's making it really hard not to. Uh... Okay, we'll have corners there. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, I must say, pretty nice. Okay, so basic idea, that's a pretty good surround. Yeah, it's, it's nice, man. That's gonna make for a nice little enclosure for one of my many cemetery pieces, so. I am ecstatic about that. I think maybe I got like the boss box for fantasy because I'm rocking gargoyles and that uh, fence, stone fence. And I also have this really nice resin uh, homeboy here. Kingdoms of Men, looks like Basilean uh, Paladins or something. They have 200 swords. The kind of Zweihander type things. You've got your helmets. Definitely rocking the night vibe. Well, they all have Bibles, heavy armor, robes. Let me see. The torsos. Yeah, they got the feathery bit on the shoulders, shoulder pauldrons. And yeah, then you're rocking double handed swords, the big Zweihander type thing. So these are a form of Basilean uh, infantry. They're a more elite form. Let's see how many you get there. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So this is a troop of somebody. Of course, it's in red stick. Okay. Just curious. What else? I have a massive dude. I haven't seen this cat. All right, so we have a base, and that seems like it's a dungeon saga type thing. Uh, and I have a lower jaw, so a second lower jaw. Okay, this dude is something else, and I have a tongue. Okay, the tongue will pop in there eventually. And an upper jaw of what looks to be an anglerfish. And then I have two kind of connected uh, weapon arms. So it's a big giant gribbly angler fish monster guy with an anchor attached to a spiked club. Uh, you know, I have a Night Stalker army, so this dude could be something for that army. He has kind of the Cthulhu isk with the scales and the fins, and of course the angler fish deal. So he could be something in that army. I've never seen anyone pull him out of a box. Like, what the heck? I'm kind of in awe about what I'm getting here because I haven't seen it before. I don't know what he is. Uh, the base tells me it's it has to be Dungeon Saga, which is odd. But yeah, I've never seen this model before from their lineup. And like I said, I'm not an RPer, but that definitely looks like it's a, it's a monster from their role-playing game. Okay, oh, here. This is also a direct sales undead um, army standard bearer, so on an undead mount. So this is a little revenant dude. I, I've already have one of these painted as well. So I could take him and make him into a revenant king on mount. I can 
that's an easy conversion for me. So here, this is something, wait a minute, this is nicer. This is nicer than what everyone else is getting. They're getting that, that camping set, which I kind of wanted the camp. Oh, wait a minute, this is a Ziploc bag. I kind of wanted the camping set, but what is this, man? All right, this is awesome. I have a well. I have two wells. What is going on? Well, this is a lot of stuff. All right, I have some gigantic obelisk. Okay, that's a solid. No, oh, no, it's not solid. It has something else inside of it. Yeah, it has a scaffold. <laughs> oh, son of a gun. All right. This just got awesome. <laughs> uh, so happy. Okay, Mantic, you screwed up on my sci-fi box. Gave me a, a damn uh, roleplay box. But I have I have something I haven't seen anybody else pull. Super, super happy about this. This is crazy, man. Okay, that's, that's Mantic for you, I suppose. All right, I have two wells. Okay, uh... And they are the same sculpt, which is fine. Okay, two wells is better than none because you got to have something to drink. I have two of the same kind of, it looks like a hawker's bench. So someone selling food items or like, okay, they're going to hang some cat here. So you got guys, vendors here. They're trying to sell some stuff. I got bleach. Oh, no, no. This is a fruit stand. So I could make like little bitty things of fruit. So definitely some market square stuff. I've got two of those. Okay, two of those benches. I have stocks. I mean, who doesn't want that? You know, uh, with the lock complete on the side. Awesome, so gallows, stocks. I have tons of food bits to put on these deals, these, uh, these racks here. And you can fit two side by side. You got your berries and all that goodness. Some apples, some corn, looks like peppers. Uh, little pineapple looking things there. Really cool and detailed. So yes, I have, I have four of those. And actually it looks like some of these have a scoop in them. Like if it's uh, grains. If you're buying some flour, some sugar, something like that. So I have two of those as well. Really cool. All right. <clears throat> bolts of cloth. So those are bolts of cloth with folds on the bottom to put onto your hawker's tables. What is this also? Haha, -ha, fish. I have fish. So one can be a fishmonger. The other can be um, yeah, a fishmonger and also poultry with some sausage links there so nice man nice like this is sick and i have another bag to open dude okay so what this is this is going to need a little bit of heat treatment which is fine but you've got the canopies this is an open air market type type stall thing so you have your canopies to go over your bits and bobs that are being sold and even uh, smaller canopies, uh, yeah, to go over part, part of your deal. So, so two big canopies and two smaller canopies. Really nice. Now they're wonka jawed. That one's not that wonka jawed, but but this little guy is. He's got problems. So that's just gonna need a, a simple bend. It's gonna be super easy if you guys want to watch that video of mine. With the hairdryer technique, awesome. <laughs> I have a giant obelisk. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it has a place, a flat place you can set something on or whatnot. I have a damn uh, <laughs> gallows. Everyone else is getting the camping set. Everyone else has tents. In every one that I've seen, they've pulled out tents. I'm stoked. Like, dude, I've got some sweet walls. I've got some sweet gallows. There was actually a reviewer, a guy doing the uh, unboxing. Wow. 
is this? Okay, so I have another thing I haven't seen many people get, The League of Infamy, uh, one of their books. So I don't think that this is the main book, but uh, I will look into that further. I mean, maybe this big, uh, this big guy here that I got is a League of Infamy model. I'm not sure. I'm super happy about that, though. Okay, I have some tokens, punch out cardboard jobs, and something that was kind of expected, but I got the Kings of War Vanguard book. So, you know, not that I play Vanguard, but I, I do have the entire, the entire book. I don't know how long that's going to be good for. And a poster type deal. Let's see. Oh, well, that is a very nice poster of Dagon Panathor. So the entire of Northern Panathor. Okay. Pretty cool, man. All right, so of course we're gonna have the, the winter lands there. It's a pretty cool map, you know, just some fake cartography to uh, put up on a wall. Not bad, not bad. I could replace my, my uh, Merc's posters with this guy. Not bad, dude. Okay, sweet. I, I'm in awe, like, you know, and they did, they screwed up my order, but getting this and getting that wall and getting this dude and gargoyles, like, I can't really complain. I can't complain. And of course I got, you know, I was actually looking forward to this. So $30, this one box was $30, well spent. I got a bunch of stuff. That's awesome. I can't complain. Basileans, I'm toying with Basilean army right now. I have some of the character models and stuff. Uh, I, the League of Infamy book, I don't know. <laughs> I might take a look at that later, but, you know, it's a, a bunch of ogre stuff. The undead things really help out. Uh, more stuff for me to paint, but the terrain bits are amazing. And there was a guy from the UK that was, he bought, I think, two or three of these boxes specifically for terrain for, um, uh, for fantasy and he didn't get hardly anything but tent sets I, th I think he did no he bought the terrain boxes and the terrain and those were mostly uh, dealing with uh, modern so he got a bunch of forklift trucks he got a bunch of hospital stuff he was upset upset but I, I struck gold here I can't I, I'm not I'm a happy 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 camper I mean a gallows like yeah okay that's awesome. And stone walls. Everyone else is getting like fences or like I said, the mining tracks, which are poo poo in my opinion. Um, yeah, I'm a happy dude. So awesome. Well, guys, y'all take it easy. I'm going to unbox at least my terrain crate and we're going to get that uh, out on the table here. But I mean, this just makes the weight. It makes the frustration everything worth it I could hit people. or you could plant something in it you know have like a little flower coming up out of it that's a heavy son of a gun anyway super happy super happy excellent uh, crazy box all right guys take it easy carry it lays on